Hello students, welcome to our today's interaction. In this interaction, we are going to focus on shape of I3 minus and I3 plus shapes as well as geometries of I3 minus and I3 plus we are going to discuss. So now, first I am taking I3 minus. I3 minus, three iodines are there, central atom also iodine. So that's what, what I am taking is I3 minus if you take in that central atom I and it is having negative charge. So I contains seven electrons in the valency shell and I minus. So we need to add one more of one more electron to this iodine. So therefore total number of electrons eight. Have you got it? First I have taken I3 minus central atom is I and it is having charge negative charge. Iodine is having seven electrons in their valency shell and one negative charge is there, one electron. Seven plus one, eight electrons. Now, this is eight electrons. I wrote here like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight X I wrote here. So this out of eight electrons, two electrons are bonded with two iodines. Have you got it? So those are here one iodine. See this? Here one iodine is bonded and here one iodine is bonded. Right? So remaining how many electrons are not participating in the bond? Three lone pair of electrons. This is one, two and three. Have you got it? So three lone pairs, two bond pairs. Total how many electron pairs? Three plus two total five five means what is the hybridization sp3 d okay hybridization is what here sp3 d now coming to the geometry if you want to explain the geometry of the given molecule okay geometry you need to consider lone pairs also have you got it so therefore then the geometry of the molecule will be trigonal bipyramidal because I already told you we need to consider the lone pairs which are present on the central atom. Two lone, three lone pairs are there, no? One, two, three. Two bond pairs, one, two. If you consider all, the geometry will be trigonal bipyramidal. Is it clear? Trigonal bipyramidal. But we need to talk about only shape. Shape means what we should not consider lone pair, only bond pairs we have to consider. Now, without consideration of lone pair of electrons, only we need to consider bond pair. This is one and two bond pairs. So two bond pairs here, the shape we have to take it as like a linear. Have you got it or not? Shape is linear. Geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. Is it clear? We have to go for the I3 plus. So now hybridization, geometry, shape, we will discuss. Here you see here, I3 plus. So here in the I3 plus, what do we have to do? Just focus, I3 plus. Central atom iodine, but here positive charge is there. Iodine will contain seven electrons, you all know very well. But positive charge, positive charge means we have to remove one electron. That means seven minus one, six electrons will be on the central atom. So here you see this, I wrote six X, that means six electrons here. So two electrons are forming a bond. Two electrons are forming a bond with two iodines. This is one bond pair. Here you focus. This is one bond pair and so this is second bond pair. So remaining how many electrons are there? Four are there on the central atom. Those four electrons are nothing but a two lone pairs. So two lone pairs on the central atom, two bond pairs on the central iodine. Total two plus two, four. See this, two bond pairs, two lone pairs. Total two plus two, four. Four means what is the hybridization of the central atom in this molecule? SP3 hybridization. Now coming into the geometry of the I3 plus, you see this. Geometry, if you take, we I already told you we need to consider what 
that loan pairs and bond pairs both we have to consider if you consider the loan pair and bond pair you can see this here this is one and this is one and here loan pairs to bond pairs to no so now if you take bond pairs here one this is one bond pair you can take it and this is one bond pair one loan pair and second loan pair total four what is the shape of what is the geometry of this i3 plus here the geometry is tetrahedral have you got it is it clear it is tetrahedral because two loan pairs two bond pairs now coming to this shape so in the shape we have to consider only bond pairs okay how those bond pairs are arranged around the central atom we need to think about it so now if you take here shape of the i3 plus it is a bent shape because central atom is having two lone pairs due to the repulsion these bond pairs will bend like this so i3 plus shape is bent shape is it clear have you got it so any doubt once you check if you have doubt ask me in the comment session i will give you clarity thanks for watching bye bye